Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. <laughs> Hi lovely viewers, it's me again your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. How do you, how do you even prepare yourself for something like that? How does someone... Because it's not easy for some people to just look at negative comments and not have it affect them. So how do you develop such a thick skin with all of that? Crow, it must be difficult. It's taken years. Mm. You know, if you look back to when I started my career, I started in 2000 and I started training for radio actually in 2007, just when my son was born. Mm. I think Mabe was a few, it was a couple of months old right. when I started my training. I officially went on radio in 2008. Mm. It's 2022. Mm. That's many years of having to experience different things and in different countries too. Mm. In different countries too. Mm. So a, a, a lot of things don't, don't faze me. Mm. I'm, I'm able to look at certain comments and certain human beings mm. comment and make videos and I know this person could have easily given me a call you have my number but you want the attention you want to be on social media you want to discuss me because you know it's going to gain you you know a following and viewers mm. okay do it for a day and then we can go back to being human after that and then you and I won't ever speak again because mm. I won't allow you to be in my space right, right. But that's how it works so there are certain people who come online mm. and want to discuss me and my things for clout. Mm. And I know their intention. So it helps me delete people from my life. That's all I do. Mm, so but thick skin is something that I have grown over, over, the, over the, the years. years. From 2008 Chromes until right. 2022. Please tell me why I should sit and start worrying about a troll online. Make me understand. I can't. What about friends? Is it difficult to make new friends now? Because we've seen you have new friends and you're not friends anymore. Mm. Um, same hairstyles, same haircuts, and the next thing, same outfit. Uh, it, it's gone. Next thing, we we yeah. not friends anymore. Life, life, life is like that. I I do have one friend mm. who I've had since the year 2000. That is my best friend, mm. and then I've had industry friends. Mm. So with industry relationships, they come and go. It's like you guys. You mm. guys met how many years ago? Who knows if you you guys are gonna talk again? Mm. I've, it's, it's 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 human. It's life. You could talk to one person. You know, I could be friends with Tasha, hang mm. out with her. Mm. She's friends with Mercy. It doesn't mean that Tasha's exclusive to me. She has other friends. Mm. And I have the one friend, my lovely, lovely friend, Victoria, since the year 2000, who's my best friend, mm. who you will never actually ever see on Facebook flexing 
and telling the whole world that she is my friend. Oh. That is my friend. So anything else that you see on social media could possibly be marketing. It could possibly be trying to help the next person. Mm. It's uh, there's so many layers to the things that I do. So I have one friend who I've maintained, and if there are people who've come in my life and we've never spoken again, the exit of a relationship is not a beef. We can go our separate ways, and it's not mm. a beef. You can be doing your thing, I can be doing my thing, and it's okay. Mm. Well, doesn't that happen to you as well? There are people who you used to hang out with, you don't hang out with anymore, right? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's life. Yeah. So, but it's different, Why, why am I an exception? Let's, let's be honest. It's different, Mutala, when it's blown up in, on social media. Like and the what? minute it's being talked about. Because it's, it's Mutala Mwanza's friend. It's, oh, like who? Like what? What are you talking about? It's just your friends. Who are my friends? Like the who? same friends that were flaunting on social media, I'm telling you. You know what we're talking I mean, about. If, if people are flaunting on social media, mm. they're, they're happy to be associated with me. Let them be happy. Wait. Mm. Do, do these people know that they're just industry, industry friends when you're associating yourself with them? Do they I understand that? If you're a bit more pointed, I would, mm. I would, I would respond accordingly. Ah. Ah. Okay. If you're a bit more pointed, I, I would respond mm. accordingly. I don't well, know what you... Sarafina Justin industry friend she was not she's not she's not a best best friend she's mm. just she was somebody i i came across and somebody i was trying to help mm. and that's that mm. and Zavin? she had she had other intentions what about Zavin? Zavin was signed to my media company cecilia media group which is mm. a talent management agency and i was her manager was so not friends we, I, I i loved the the aura that came with me putting her on the scene as a friend okay first of all she's 24 years old i'm 35 mm. we cannot be friends right in mm. real life like she's very very young but she's somebody who has been in my circle somebody whose company i enjoyed a lot mm. and it was based on talent management so the whole best friend thing and the matching hair was great for the marketing oh. but i think we all know that she has a best friend and i have my best friend but mm. it was nice for the marketing and the numbers and just you know her music and just putting her out there and mm. as a manager i would i would do anything to put an artist or a talent out there i would do anything possible mm. so if it if, if it means me telling you that that's my friend or you know you believing that mm. i am happy because she's getting her numbers up and you know her life is moving forward so i i managed her for for some time not she managing was, her anymore no i'm not managing what her happened? anymore uh, she, she's one of the hottest talents that we have the female yeah. mcs you'd be making money you'd be her. making a lot of money off her yes but unfortunately i'm making more money off my brand now the thing is that we've already established i am not yeah. managing her anymore because mm. i am working on a very big project which you're going to see in the next couple of months mm. and i did not want her brand to suffer so i passed her on to jereo Okay. Who who initially introduced me to her anyway? Mm -hmm. So she's now signed to Jerio Talent Inc. I don't manage her anymore because the the the, the project I'm working on mm. is so big and it's gonna be so exciting. I know you guys are gonna love it. Mm. I, I I was not going to manage to juggle my brand and hers and work on this project. Does that make sense? So you're still cordial? Yeah, of course. Why not? Mm. Why not? Mm. What's there not to be cordial about? No, yeah, just asking. What did you guys hear? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We're asking you the question. Okay. We're asking you. You're so, telling us the real truth. So, yeah. So, what, You're telling us the truth. Define cordio. Now, let me go into it. Mm. Define cordio. Crown. Friendly. We're still friendly. Mm. Yeah. Are you, Are when we? you meet, do you talk? Mm. How long is your conversation when you meet? Is it just hi, hello? Is she, does she still come to your house when she's sick? Do you take care of her like that? Oh, did I have it? No. Yeah, yeah, we oh. almost had her on the show, and Matilda was taking her meds at that time. Like, oh. I know she's not feeling well and whatnot. Oh, yeah, so yeah, no, no, no. She doesn't come to my house. I don't look after her when she's sick. Mm. I haven't seen her in a while. Mm. Yeah, I've been, I've been busy doing my my things. Okay. Yeah, and she's busy doing her things as well, and I'm sure she's thriving. Mm. Okay. Yeah. I'll take that with a pinch of salt. If, if you've got something to ask, just to give it to me. Shoot. No, just that. Just I, I don't think you're being entirely honest with what's going on with, with, with Zavin. Was it just business? We did have a friendship, right? Mm. We enjoyed a friendship, a good friendship, but not a best friendship as portrayed on social media. Does mm. that make sense? It was a perception. The best friendship was a perception by people and their their, their imagination. Mm. But we do... But that was crafted by you, though. Of course. Mm. And, right. and, and it's fine. And like yeah. I said, it's fine. It's okay. Because I was trying to put her out there. Mm. But the bigger picture is that I was her manager and I was managing her career. And you know that piece. Yeah. I was her manager. It yeah. was a business relationship. But she's somebody who became a friend for the period of time and we enjoyed that. But it was a business relationship. 
Mm. Importantly, that was the bigger picture. She was signed to CMG, which is my talent management um, and she, company. And she understood that. She could yes. differentiate that this is my boss and not my friend. Like It, it was made clear. It that's was, what, what that's it, what it was it was made clear but i think people get carried away sometimes so okay, okay. i could have been carried away also and just you know we're enjoying the friendship yeah, yeah, and we're enjoying yeah. the vibes and we're enjoying the things and she could have been carried away as well so mm-hmm. you okay. never really can draw the line but it's a it was a very clear thing she i i had i had employed people to look after her brand mm-hmm. under my company and she was and she was being look, looked after like that so no bad blood with with Zavin or anything you don't owe each other money or anything no, she does. She doesn't owe me money. Mm. I don't. I mean, of course, I don't owe her money, <laughs> but she doesn't owe me money. Okay. Did anybody say she owes me money? No, I'm just just clearing it up. No, just clearing it up. Is Zavin, that, is that a rumor? does not owe me money. No, 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 no. You know how it is with with talent management. Before you know it, maybe we can hear on the other side oh. when, when Archie separate from from talent management or their labels. There's usually stories like, okay, maybe they didn't treat me right in this department. Mm. I didn't feel I was getting the right amount the from this particular uh, record label or management company. Yeah. Yeah. No, she does not owe me money, but I had to end that business relationship. I had to end it. And, All right. it, and it's ended. And that's that. So okay. you're not managing anyone at this point? No. Okay. I'm not. Until you finish your project? Yes. Okay. Um, I mean, I, I would need to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> I would need to think about that. Wow. Another person. <laughs> was, was the experience so bad? <laughs> um, you know what? Uh-huh. I think there's more to this. What's the experience so bad? Was managing <laughs> Javin so bad? Managing her wasn't bad at all. It's just that you... Um, we, the, the way I've managed my own brand for years and the vision that I have for myself is, is different from how a person perceives themselves and what they want to do. Mm. So... So was it um, a difference in ideas and execution? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you would say there's a difference in ideas if the person actually had any ideas, but if Ooh. they didn't, um, that's a different conversation. So refra- you, rephrase your question. You, you see why we keep on asking this question. Sounds Mutale. like there's more, Mutale. There's more that you're not telling us, Mutale. Yeah. The thing is, I'm not interested, and I don't even want to talk about it. I am not managing her anymore. I don't care about her things. I don't care. Leave me alone. I don't care. I don't. You have been left alone. <laughs> RSP. <laughs> <laughs> More news to come, my lovely viewers. Make sure you subscribe to this channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below. And also turn on the bell icon to join the notification squad. For now, I'm out. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.